Never get KO'd again. I'm now going to show you how to avoid the deep out zone and mid zone KOs every single time. There's nothing more annoying than getting KO'd to the sideline. When you think you have an open pass and boom, it's knocked out. But with the combination of this video and us breaking down the top 10 secrets of the rollout, you're never going to get KO'd again. Before we start, please like the video for the algorithm. I appreciate it. No matter if it's a mid zone KO or a deep out zone KO, we're essentially clicking on, bringing our receiver down, and getting this type of strafe jetpack catch that makes it where that corner lit up, X Factor, deep out zone KO, doesn't matter. He will not KO us because he's not going to be able to connect to us. You see that as we are clicking on, we're bringing him down, we're holding wire triangle to user catch getting an aggressive catch animation as our receiver is going down and away from the corner. I'm going to put the link to the top 10 secrets of the rollout glitch in the description for you guys to check out if you want to avoid KOs on the run while also glitching our opponent, making zone defenders blitz in, making contains never ever get us, especially when using plays like this from single back deuce close in the Chiefs playbook, PA misdirection where we have a tight end on a blue route. We talk about that all in that video, okay? But I also, in this video, will show you how to avoid KOs in the pocket. But if you are rolling out, let's send five out, okay? We'll do something simple here. We are going to double team the DT, right? We're gonna let this defensive end on the right come in. We're gonna outrun him. And I like to have a running back on a wheel with a corner route. The wheel route helps the corner route get open, especially when rolling to the right. Now, all we have to do is when we roll, we're going to let go of speed burst, throw a bullet pass down into the right, click on, and bring our receiver down. So again, we rolled right here to the right, and right before I throw, I'm going to let go of speed burst so that roaming and set feet lead trigger. You definitely want both of those when you are throwing on the run. I'm throwing down into the right, okay? That way the ball goes right like here, away from the corner, okay? So you want to th down into the outside here. Then as soon as we throw it down into the outside, we're going to click on our receiver by pressing B or circle. Then we are going to bring that receiver down as soon as we click onto him. So as you see, I'm going to bring the receiver down. And as the ball gets close, I'm going to hold Y or triangle to get an aggressive catch. And he gets that strafe catch animation. Let me do it one more time. And I could get that animation every single time that I throw this. And each time I'm avoiding the KO. And I did get hit by the corner last second right there. But by the time I caught it, I had possession and that's a first down. So again, ideally, you do want to have a running back wheel with a outside receiver corner out. You could also do like a backside post. That helps a lot. Now, what about for those that don't roll out? Well, I'm going to show you how to avoid KOs in the pocket as well. Let's start off on the short side of the field. So if we're on the right hash and we want to hit a corner out to the right side, it's pretty simple. You just want to have a corner out that is in a compressed look, so he's split inside, whether it be bunched or tight set. And then you want to have a running back streak on that side, so a running back on the right side on a streak. Now, you could also do like a streak corner to two receivers, and that would work as well, but that's a little bit more obvious, and it could pull a user defender to go and lurk that. A running back streak with a corner out is probably the best way to hide the fact that you're looking to exploit that sideline. So take a look at the right side. Here, I am going to catch that. Now, it's funny. I got KO'd, but I really didn't get KO'd. In Madden 24, if you make a catch by the sideline, like right by the sideline like this, and then get hit after securing the catch, this is going to be a first down. Even though it looks like I dropped the pass, it looks like a KO, they're going to give me the first on that. So whenever you catch the ball right at the sideline, that is not going to be able to be KO'd. So I'll do that again. I'm going to streak the running back and corner the receiver. Okay, I'm throwing this down into the right. You could even freeform it and then possession catch. Now, what about if you were throwing to the wide side? Well, instead of having a running back streak, you could have a running back wheel. Okay, but now to also make this work, like for sure, you want to have three vertical routes that you're attacking on the wide side. So you can do corner streak and running back wheel okay so that's counted as three vertical routes the wheel the streak and the corner that will manipulate the deep zone and let this get open as you see we made a catch i threw that down into the left and the outside corner that has deep out zone ko 
is not anywhere near this to KO it. Possession catch to the sideline. If, let's say, I only had the wheel and the corner and no streak, only two vertical routes, then that outside corner could be in a better position to possibly KO it. Right there, he still didn't KO it. But if you want for sure for him to be nowhere near the corner route, having three vertical routes is the best way. So right here, I'm doing streak, corner, wheel, and easy pass to the sideline. He happened to drop it. I don't have gift wrapped on right now, but you get the idea. Also, what a lot of people like to do is a double corner concept. So here, I'm going to motion this tight end over in gun tight Y off from the Chiefs book. But this formation is found in so many different formations in the game. And I'm using a concept that could be done from any bunch set. I'm going to have the tight end on a small corner, slot on a deeper corner, right? The hot route master corner, outside guy on a streak or fade, and then have a backside drag. This is three vertical routes attacking the wide side. That is going to make the outside deep zone not play the corner routes. So here you're going to see Y is going to be open to the sideline and we get the catch and the first down. This is the most popular concept right now. A lot of people like to do it from gun bunch strong, uh, gun bunch nasty, gun bunch offset. No matter what you're doing it from, it's the same concept if you're throwing in the pocket. Double corner with a fade, backside drag. The deep zones are going to back up, leaving the corner out open, down and to the left. Possession. And most importantly, avoiding the KO. So that's how you do it in the pocket. But me personally, I like doing this on the run to the outside so much better. Throw it down into the outside pass, click on and undercut it, avoid the KO every single time. There's really nothing they can do, especially because let's say they're in a cover two zone and we can't undercut the ball. You're just throwing it literally above the flat zone instead of throwing it down into the outside. You're just throwing it up and away from the deep half defender. We show you how to glitch deep half defenders in our top 10 secrets to rolling out. So just causing massive headaches to our opponent, no matter what they do. If they try to take away the sideline with their user, you could easily throw a backside post, which is money with roaming. That was a streak post attacking the opposite side in which we're rolling. So backside posts, running back streaks, running back wheels, even delayed streaks are all things we do on the run as a way to attack if they do take away the corner somehow. Here we have the running back streak wide open. So rolling out is so effective, and the fact that they can't KO us just makes it that much better. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. And also for the algorithm, if you could let us know in the comments, do you like to roll out better passing or be in the pocket and throw in dots? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you guys want to see consistent daily tips from us, we have a free Madden Daily community on school. I go live almost every single day. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going live for Tip Thursday. My last live stream, I covered single back wing slot rollout defense or just rollout defense in general from nickel over. On Saturday for Full Scheme Saturday, I started my new offense from run balance, which is single back ace double wing and that tray offset in which I'm glitching on the run. Meta Mondays, Tip Tuesdays. Film Room Fridays, we're watching other comp players and breaking down their film, doing some film study on that. We cover the meta every Monday for Meta Monday. We have gameplays that we cover, Henry vs. Dez. I'm going to be doing some more for Film Room Fridays. Full gameplay breakdowns. We have a Mutt section, CFM section. Uh, right now, we're discussing new logo ideas where our members are voting. Some feedback, which we're getting really good feedback on our school platform. Any question that you have pertaining to Madden or upcoming NCAA, you could ask in our Q&A section and we'll be glad to help. I'm literally in here at all times. We show you how to get the zone defenders to blitz when being on the run and getting unlimited hot routes on screens inside our classroom. There's so many great things inside our Madden Daily community on school and it's completely free for the rest of the Madden 24 year. Every single tip that we do for Madden 24 is either going in our school community or on YouTube. So if you want both, just make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and join our Madden Daily community on school. Again, it's free. Link is in the description. Hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Hope to see you back tomorrow for the next Madden Daily Tip video on YouTube. It's lights. Later.